Alrighty, hey guys, this is Garrison over at Massey Toyota. And here in front of me we do have a 2014 GMC Yukon SLT 4x4. This one is in the quick silver metallic exterior with the ebony leather. Now coming to our wheels, we are running on Uniroyal tires. And these are going to be our 17 inch alloy wheels. SLT badging right up there. Coming around back, rear parking sensors and a rear backup camera on this model. And you do also have the separate glass piece that can pop open or you can open the whole hatch. So coming in, take a look at your key fob lock, unlock, remote start, trunk, and your panic. Unlock twice to unlock all your doors. Now coming in, go ahead and stick your key in the ignition. This one does have 52,960 miles. And it does start right up. So let's go ahead and check out underneath the hood. Now coming underneath the hood, we do have a 5.3 liter Vortec V8. This is going to make 320 horsepower and 355 foot pounds of torque to all four wheels through a six speed automatic. So let's go ahead and check out the interior. Now coming back in, as I said before, we do have the ebony black leather interior on this model. It is going to be a partial power driver's seat with your recline, lumbar, and then your um, sliding and adjusting um, bottom cushion there. Side airbags, of course, these seats are heated and we'll demonstrate that in a second. Over here on our door panel, nice padded materials up top. Some rubberized padding down on our armrest, power locks, windows, and mirrors, as well as those heated seats. Some plenty of storage down below. And then we'll go ahead and close up our door. Over here on the left, we do have our automatic headlights, fog lights, panel dim controls right there, as well as our four-wheel drive controls. And then coming to our steering wheel, it is a four-spoke leather-wrapped wheel, cruise control on this side, as well as our audio and voice commands on this side. Over on the left, we do have our blinkers as well as our wipers. They are variable intermittent speed and rear wiper controls. Then over on the right, we do have our shifter for our six-speed automatic. We do have manual shift mode, so pop it down one more notch and we can manually shift right there. Back in reverse, we do have a rear view camera that does show up in our rear view mirror. Now coming over here to our audio system, this is going to be your AM, FM, satellite, CD, USB, and auxiliary inputted head unit. Right here we do have 12 presets, 6 buttons that do correspond to their matching station. Press favorite again and those stations will change. And of course you do have your menu controls to go through all of that. Tune knob, volume knob, and then your aux input down here. Right here we do have our dual zone auto climate control for our front passengers. Driver temperature, passenger, zones, and fan speed, and then you can lock out your rear system. Right here, two 12 volt power outlets, traction control off, as well as our parking sensor deactivation and your power pedals. Storage and cup holders right over here, and then we do have a nice padded stitched leather armrest. Storage, and then looking down in there, it is absolutely massive. We do have a USB input as well as a 12 volt power outlet. Felt lined as well. Glove box, it is nice and damp. We do have our owner's manuals in there. And then up top, auto dimming review mirror, and we do have our own star right there. Mirror and vanity lights on our sun visor, map lights, and garage home link up top. And so that'll be it for the front seat. Let's go ahead and check out the rear. Now coming back here, of course your ebony leather does carry through. Stepping in, door panel materials carry through as well with your padded soft touch materials up top. Rubberized armrest and power window. Now with this front seat set for my 5'9 driving frame, plenty of knee room, plenty of foot room for me to stretch out. Dual seat map pockets back here, as well as our rear climate controls that you can independently control or lock out from the front seat, as well as some um, independent radio controls that you can listen to back here. 12 volt power outlet and some cup holders below that. To my right, I do have a nice armrest, padding and cup holders. And then up top, we do have some air vents, damped corning handles with coat hooks and some map lights. So we'll go ahead and check out the third row and then the cargo area. Now to gain access into your third row, just go ahead and pull up on this lever twice, once to fold the seat, a second time to tumble the seat. That does give you a nice passageway into your three seat bench back here. Over on the right side we do have some storage, over on the left cup holders and our jack. Um, up top, 
we do have some air vents as well as illumination and then over on the right and the left we do have some coat hooks and so you can go ahead and tumble the seat back down or you can leave it up like this to give um, third row passengers easier um, entry and exit so let's go ahead and check out the cargo area now coming around back as I said before we do have that separate tailgate right over here so we can open up our glass pressing that little rubberized button so just throw some groceries in back here behind your third row if you would like to easily close that up and then beneath your license plate you can pull a membrane to open up the full hatch now as you can see there's a minimal cargo room behind your third row but you can easily fold that down by just pulling these levers right here you can tumble them forward and remove them if you would like to as well over here on the right we do have a 12 volt power outlet and then your spare tire is located underneath the vehicle and so that'll be it for this 2014 GMC Yukon SLT. Now, if you are interested in this vehicle or any of the model out here at Massey Toyota, feel free to contact them. All the information is in the description below. So, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in my next video.